So I was given this question recently. Uh, can I take a puff of albuterol or breathing treatment before a race and improve my time, improve the lung capacity, improve endurance, okay? Let's talk about that. Right now, we've got the uh, Winter Olympics going on, and there's already been a couple athletes that have been banned for doping. One of those drugs was a bronchodilator called uh, phenoterol, and this thing is an asthma medication that uh, has been banned by the FDA, but it's used in other countries still. It's an asthma medication. It's a legitimate asthma medication. Now, why was this banned? Was this banned because we found out that taking this expands your lungs and gives you uh, a leg up on, the, on other competitors? No, it's probably banned because of the dosage. Okay? There's a thing uh, called the World Organization of Essential Medications. And on this list are things like albuterol. Because there are, there are athletes that have asthma and they need this drug. So therapeutic doses are okay. So for instance, two puffs every four hours, the anti-doping agency is not gonna flag this, but anything above that, they may flag it, okay? Well, why is that? Is that because that they found out that these drugs cause an advantage? They give you these Superman lungs? No, in fact, quite the contrary. There's been a lot of studies that show that it doesn't do anything, okay? It doesn't give you a leg up on the competition. But these drugs are also used for other things, okay? They're also used for things like weight loss, okay? So we're banking on the fact that the systemic effects from albuterol are, is going to increase your heart rate, increase your body temperature, increase your basal metabolic rate, all these things. And there's bodybuilders that swear by using this that it helps them. There's a, uh, a very strong dose of, of beta 2 agonist called clenbuterol that a lot of bodybuilders use. It's very dangerous. There's been a lot of issues with uh, cardiac problems. Because this drug has a half-life of 24 to 48 hours, which is very high. Albuterol is out of your system in three to six hours, okay? So if you have a high heart rate, it's kind of hard to get out of this. You're going to have to wait it out for a day or two or have some intervention, okay? So there's a lot of issues with clenbuterol. It's not endorsed by the FDA. It's kind of bro science. It's kind of things that bodybuilders swear by that they use for, okay? But that's why these are banned from the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency is because they're used for other things. They don't improve... Uh, performance, they don't give you Superman lungs, so unless you got something wrong with you, the breathing treatment's not going to help you.